It is a classic Turkish song these Syrian refugees now know by heart. Walking along a narrow road, they sing, day and night, day and night. The music is meaningful to Hamam Rashid. So you can't actually define where you're going to, where you're going to live for the next 10 years. You can't even define where you're going to live for the next two days. At 17, he isn't phased by Trump's tactics. He's shaming himself, he's shaming his country. It's about shame on him. The Pages Cafe, bookstore, library is a place of comfort for refugees in Istanbul, but also a place to quietly fight stereotypes and fear, to show there is no shame in being a refugee. It is dangerous, and what he say, it is something dangerous. Uh, through Pages, we try uh, to tell the world that we are Assyrian, People, we are normal people. Uh, we have uh, artists, we have authors, we have literature, and uh, we uh, also offer the world music and art. No one here on this night is even considering a future in the United States. They know the U.S. has taken in just under 13,000 Syrian refugees. Mohammed Duba, at 18, is hopeful and world-weary all at the same time. This is just like, I find it, can I say stupid? Because I find it stupid. My grandmother lives there, and she's actually an American citizen. It really breaks my heart, because when we look at history, America was actually built by people who came from all over the world. Mohammed Duba isn't sure where home will be in the future, and he's okay with that. It's going to be a bit here in Syria, in, in other countries, because it's more like a message to the world. We should stop fighting, we should stop hating each other. Neil Kirksal, CBC News, Istanbul.